Hello pals! I thought I would start kind of a weekly vlog. Um, I already started a vlog today, which will probably be up before um, this vlog goes up, but I'm getting ready to go to San Francisco, which is exciting. We're gonna stay there for a couple of nights. Alfie is actually coming as well. Yeah, so anyway, I'll link that vlog below if it goes up before this one. And yeah, I thought I would do kind of a weekly sort of what I'm up to sort of vlog because I haven't done that in a while and I miss doing vlogs to be honest and plus um, I'm filming on my cell phone so let me know if you guys like the quality of it I know it's a lot better than the other one because the other one had like a black little dot right there and it just bug bugged me and I am um, the camera that I want is too expensive and I don't want to pay full price for it. it and it's just not worth the ticketed amount that um, it is so anyway I I'm going to head out to San Francisco for the weekend, so I'll talk to you guys in maybe a couple of days. <laughs> so the car is actually all ready to be packed up, but I got two packages just in the mail then, and okay, <laughs> okay, it was me as a, as a bridge. And I thought I would open up some parcels that I got literally just this second. I didn't look at the names on them because I don't want to know... Um, who they're from, so let's go see. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes! Oh, it's really warm actually, I should, uh... <gasps> oh my goodness! Bobby Brown sent me some goodies. All thanks to Mindy for giving me Bobby Brown's contact, actually. Um, we've been trading contacts. She said it's like, it's like trading baseball cards, which I've actually contacted Bobby Brown before, but um, they kind of ignored my emails a bit because that's what happens. And let's see what an, ooh, Nancy, but look what, oh my gosh. New York, New York, one zero 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 two. Oh my gosh, stuck right in there she is. Oh, wow. See that embossing on the little note? Nice. All right, so the next one, oh. Vita Liberita stuff, I didn't know that they were continuing sending me Goodies. I got some stuff my first year of moving here. Honestly, I have no idea who's sending this and I don't know who to contact to show them what I've done for them. So that's kind of crummy. It's a self-tanning bronzing minerals. Is that like a, um, it looks like just a loose powder. Whoa, hold on. See that? Is it focusing? Got two of those. One's in bronze 02. And one's in bronze 02. Oh, are they the same? I think they sent me two of the same product, which is awesome. If I love it, that's awesome. And, um, oh my gosh, this is the one that's like super long lasting. It's called the two week, two to three week tan mousse. Hopefully it lasts a super long time on my skin. As you guys know, I tan pretty regularly on literally once a week or so. Okay, is there any contact information? No, weird. And then the self-tanning gradual lotion with marula oil. Exciting! Um, I'll continue this vlog once I get back from my trip. Um, maybe I'll make it a, kind of a, into a weekly vlog. How about that? Yeah, I'm like sweating here, getting ready to go. Um, Scott's in the shower now, and hopefully we won't be too late. <laughs> okay, talk soon! I'm back from San Francisco. I ended up purchasing some things at K-Pop Beauty, which sells Tony Moly, and I thought I would show you what I bought, but first, I wanna show you something that I'm pretty proud about. I killed a wasp. And if you don't know the history behind that, I ended up getting attacked by a wasp's nest when I was a kid, so I have like, obviously, fear of it. But anyway, it was stuck on the landing and it was going whizzing around for a bit, and I noticed it was kind of slowing down, so I slammed a glass on top of it and trapped it. Now it's dead. I'm pretty happy. Wanna see? Is it gross to show you? There it is. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some Tony Moly stuff. It's kind of like Sephora, the Tony Moly store, but obviously a lot more inexpensive. And the Tony Moly stuff is sold at Ulta and Urban Outfitters and Sephora. 
but it's way cheaper. So I'm gonna show you. So first of all, I think the bag is super cute. The store was actually called K-pop Beauty, but um, yeah, this is the store. I don't know what that says. This is one of the last things that I picked up. I was looking at these sheets, but they had all different kinds and this one was on sale for two dollars now it only has 80 pieces and the one that i was looking at was like six bucks for i don't remember how much how many pieces but i wanted to pick these up to see how i like them and i like the simple packaging it's kind of nice since i'm traveling like four weekends in a row i thought i would pick up a new set of um cleansing makeup removing wipe stuff and i think this was four dollars which is decent because I pick up the pixie one at Target for 10 bucks um, how many do these have and I don't know is this like the expiry like October 16th or March 24th like what is it I don't know hopefully these are good and super moist and whatever and there's that if you want to screenshot it the ingredients so this is the hand cream um, they sell this at Urban Outfitters for probably $3 more than they do at Tony Moly and it was buy one get one 50% off and I didn't realize that until I went to the cash register and then I panicked. I didn't really need two, but I picked up two. I couldn't help it. Um, these are super cute. The smell is really good and yeah, I got two of them now so that's grand. <laughs> I knew also that this was buy one get one 50% off. It is, um, yeah it is shea butter actually. This is a nice smelling hand cream and it feels nice doesn't feel greasy and I picked up this one because I wanted to try something different they also had a really interesting one smelling like honey oh my gosh how cute is this it is a lip gloss so it's a nice lip gloss and it's just too adorable I had to pick it up I don't remember how much it was I think maybe six dollars as well but hold on let me swatch it so there it is swatched it's kind of peachy kind of neutral looking um, easy to apply without a mirror so that's awesome I loved it and then finally I picked up um, an eyebrow pencil on a whim because some girl was trying it on like mad and she was loving it and it was five bucks and it's in the color gray Ooh, it has a super sharp little point to it um, and there's a spoolie on this end so it is a nice gray color and it was five dollars man that is like a super deal and I don't know if it was because I spent so much or if the girl was like oh my gosh she's so excited about Tony Moly because there's like a super huge lineup behind me but she gave me all these like samples I don't think she gave it to the person in front of me it was pretty sweet and I was like oh my god thank you I told her I had like dry skin and she gave me all of this like I think she said that was horse essence I hope not Ugh, I don't even know what it does I don't know if I'm gonna try that to be honest anti-wrinkle whitening skincare no I want tanning skincare thanks but I think those are just face creams yeah face cream and then if you're out in the sun a cooling aloe gel aloe vera gel so yeah that's what I got from Tony Moly so I just dumped my footage onto the computer and I didn't realize that I didn't show you what I got from Bobby Brown so I'm gonna open these up and show you what the PR people sent me to review I ended up getting some sun-kissed collection eye palettes this is in the color. Oh my gosh, this is called Sunkissed Pink Eye Palette. <laughs> it's kind of a funny name. I don't want pink eye. Just kidding. So that is super beautiful packaging with the rose gold, I guess you'd call it. Two mattes and kind of one really shimmery and one kind of shimmery. So that's what that one looks like. This is the gold palette and there's two mattes diagonally across from each other and then two kind of goldy colors. A highlighter! <laughs> Look, I feel like Bobbi Brown is totally known for their highlighters. Like, check that out. And next up, I got some lip glosses. I ended up bringing these two with me, I think, or maybe it was these two. I definitely brought this one with me to the San Francisco um, weekend trip, and I used up quite a bit of it. Um, I applied it, like, all the time. It is such a gorgeous nude color and basically all of these are nude i tried this one on my lips a little bit too shimmery for my liking but it is kind of pretty if you apply it sparingly a blog post will be coming up about these and it's already posted on instagram just a little flat lay of it just about to buckle up and i got the lexus gx 460 to review for the week <laughs> that's a beast for sure good sit and uh, now I'm going to go do a couple of errands in the vehicle. 
we got the vehicle to review for the week because um, I'm driving up to almost Sonoma area because my husband has a big race coming up. So I just got told off in USPS for bringing Alfie in. There's no sign saying no dogs allowed, so I brought him in because it's pretty hot outside. I don't want him to roast in the car, but anyway, they apparently don't allow dogs in there. I got the BBC World Service playing for Alfie and I'm heading out to Los Altos to meet up with the Bay Area bloggers. We're having a little coffee date. Uh, we haven't had that in a while. And I got some makeup for my pal Lauren. So hopefully she enjoys all of that. I'm going to hop in that fancy GX460 Luxus and drive over to Los Altos. Um, I'm like sweating from the face right now really badly. It's supposed to get to 34 degrees today. Whew. I might film a little bit when I'm there because they make really good vanilla lattes. Um, and yeah, if I don't, I'll talk to you guys in the next clip regardless. <laughs> So I'll film a little bit inside maybe if I feel comfortable. A lot of times I don't, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see everybody. because it makes me look red haired and I don't want my hair to look red. Anyway, I gotta buy my mom a birthday card. Her birthday's really soon and mail it off up to Canada. So yeah, I wanna see what kind of updates are new in Santana Row, even though I come here like all the time. As you guys know, I say it in like every vlog, I'm going to Santana Row. But anyway, um, maybe I'll snap some footage while I'm here. Um, I don't know if this vlog is even remotely interesting at all because it's full of like mundane things with an unboxing at the middle beginning sort of. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I really do miss vlogging even though it's like not really about anything in particular. Um, we are going to the Sonoma area tomorrow so I'm going to spend the entire rest of the afternoon packing, getting stuff ready for my husband. Um, to bring for his race and then packing myself up and Alfie. We're gonna go over there for Was it Thursday till Sunday? Yeah, we're driving. I'm back. I'm driving us back on Sunday um, In that big old boostly Lexus, it's gonna be super comfortable to ride. I feel like it's like me sitting in a lazy boy Driving a big tank. It's awesome. Well, that's what Lauren described it as she described it as a tank because She had this one to review as well um, a couple of months back I think she, it was the one that actually she had when we did that collaboration at Fort Funston off Leash Dog Beach with our two pups. Uh, I'm not sure though. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe I'll do another vlog soon if you guys like this enough. Let me know. Um, yeah, so talk to you guys next time.